My friends, I want you to know something. I really am trying to move on from the um, the contretemps with Il Papa. I'm trying to move on, but they keep sucking me back in, and they keep telling me that I have to embrace the suck. They keep dragging me back in. I keep trying to move past it, move beyond it, move on to other things, and they just keep taunting me out there. Greetings, my good friends. How are you? It's great to have you here, Rush Limbaugh and the Excellence in Broadcasting Network. Telephone number, you want to be on the program, 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushbaugh at eibnet.com. A leading gay lifestyle magazine, a gay rights magazine, it's called The Advocate. They promote gay rights. They promote same-sex marriage. They, and they're an in-your-face bunch, journalistically speaking. And they have just named Pope Francis their person of the year. The most powerful religious figure in the world opposing gay marriage, gay priests, gay this or gay that, gay whatever. The advocate. What do you get this? I'll tell you what they're doing here. I, I, I know what's going on. All of these other left wing groups, and the, they're jealous of the of the um, of the anti capitalists on the left. Okay, the, the, the Pope has moved their way, so they think this Pope is movable. And so all these other groups are now basically, and it's like the rest of the left and, and, and their media, they hope they can induce the Pope to move even further away from the church's doctrine. That's what's going on. Hey, Pope, you know what? You're not such a bad guy after all. Uh, you don't like Limbaugh and you don't like capitalism. You're getting close to us, buddy. So... At Time Magazine can name you Person of the Year for your anti-capitalist rent. Well, we're going to... It's sort of like Obama getting the Nobel Peace Prize before he's done anything. This is the militant gay rights community giving the Pope their Person of the Year award sort of on the come. Hoping that the Pope moves in their direction. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, I, I really... People keep saying, you know, you deserve half of every award this Pope is getting. And I say, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, that's, that's not, that's not all the, uh, the case. Now, the, the advocate, the gay rights uh, magazine, they note that Pope is, uh, Pope Francis toned down his rhetoric a little. And they even quote him as saying way back in 2010... Um, when the, when the same sex marriage debate was raging, the Pope said, let's not be naive. This is not a simple political struggle. It's an attempt to destroy God's plan. It's not just a bill, but a move of the father of lies who seeks to confuse and deceive the children of God. That's what the Pope, that's what this Pope said. And they still gave him their person of the year award. Here's Jacob Tapper, our old buddy, on CNN last night on a show called The Lead. Jake Tapper, not happy about all of this. In a move that seems to put the tiff in pontiff, Pope Francis is taking on some of his critics, presumably including Rush Limbaugh, who says he's preaching Marxism. This all started about a month ago when the Pope railed against trickle-down economics, saying it does very little to help the poor. That did not sit well with some conservatives. Limbaugh called the Pope's comments pure Marxism and, quote, puzzlingly wrong. The Pope isn't sitting silent on this one. He's tackling the criticism head on. Much to the chagrin of the drive-by media who wish that the Pope had not responded because it was me. So last night on Hannity, he had a guest Democrat strategist Mark Hanna. Not to be confused with Jack Hanna, of animal and zoo fame. But I can see where people would get confused. Anyway, Hannity said to to Mark Hanna, you know, as a Catholic, I agree with Rush that the Pope sounds like he's against capitalism. 
The Pope did not attack capitalism. He attacked unfettered capitalism. He's attacking a brand of capitalism that is based on greed is good and this kind of Wall Street financier mentality. What the Pope is emphasizing is the type of capitalism, hyper-capitalism, this kind of greedy capitalism. You know, this guy has swerved into it. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's not what the Pope really... I mean, this guy, this guy the Pope is having words put in his mouth. That's what's what this guy wants the Pope to have said. This guy wants, and this is why it's being interpreted this way. That That is an Occupy, that, that wacko leftist group, Occupy for America, whatever. The, that, that's the way they look at capitalism. So now they're just putting their view and their words in the Pope's mouth. Uh, and and thinking, oh yeah, Pope, he's, well, he's one of us. This is why he got the award, because they're now saying Occupy, what is the name of that group? Occupy? Occupy Wall Street. Yeah, Occupy Wall 